Right. Well, our next guest is back in Detroit with a show that will give you an intimate and up close and personal experience and performance. Get ready for a jazzy night when Mesa takes the stage at the Dearborn Performing Arts Center. And she joins us now ahead of the show. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. And you're doing great. Now, we're going to get to your performance in just a minute. But first, mm -hmm. let's talk about the double album that you released earlier this year. What is yes. Music for Your Soul all about? Wow, Music for Your Soul is my 14th solo album. Uh, it's it's, a, it's a, a labor of love. I put it out on my own record label, Blue Velvet Soul Records, but I need to talk to the record label y'all were just talking about a few minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> but this, uh, I put it, my record label uh, started in 2018 uh, because I wanted to own myself for the rest of my life. And so uh, it's a, a journey and a, and a learning curve that's been an amazing Amazing journey, so I'm, I'm excited about it. So Indeed. the album is a, four, a 19 song double album. Uh, a lot of my colleagues and friends said, you know, why would you put out a 19 song double album at this time in the world? Because people's attention spans are not what they used to be. And I'm like, my argument is that people my age and older have time. We have the time to listen to music like we did when we were kids. So it's kind of nostalgic and everything. Well, as you mentioned, you know, taking control of your music through your own mm -hmm. record label, Blue Velvet Soul. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a real boss move right there for musicians. <laughs> Why was it important it for you to take the helm of your career in this way? It's important because, I mean, as an artist, you want to express yourself as freely as you can. Um, and when you have people who are telling you what to do and how you should do it, it's kind of difficult. You have to kind of barter and, and make decisions with other people mm -hmm. instead of being super free and doing the, and, and being an artist yourself. So I'm really uh, happy that I'm able to have control over my packaging. I mean, I, the, my cover is a selfie that I asked my graphic artist to, you know, to make it look like I'm in the galaxy and all that kind of stuff. And then we had the whole um, album cover uh, was a lot of AI pictures that I chose um, from various uh, uh, sites that are out there. And it was just a fun project. I wanted to feel more like the universe had a hold on this record. So, mm. and that's what I wanted. And I think a lot of uh, other record companies may not have seen the vision. Okay. Well, you're creating your vision. When you take a selfie and turn it into that, you are taking, create, you know, control of the vision, the vision and the business side of it, which is really cool. But let's talk about this. The following that you have in the UK is huge. What is it like yes. to have an international fan base in addition to being super famous here? Oh, it's it's a beautiful blessing. I mean, um, I, I started out I started out singing background with Stevie Wonder, and then I moved to England to sing uh, with the group Incognito for for many many years. I still do, and um, and then I was able to come back home. So it was like uh, going to Europe uh, and understand that they had such a great love and respect for the music. At the time I came out, it was all about this kind of how you look kind of thing. It was a big thing in the, in this country about you know as far as what you look like instead of the music. And so when I started in Europe, I was I was rooted in the music and I was able to bring that back home and, and just be who I am and not have to worry about being a size two and all that kind of stuff. And so it was, it was great. Um, the European experience was beautiful. Um, it's nice to have that kind of a range, a, yeah. a broad range. The range and reach. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of, <laughs> tell us about the show coming up this Friday. What can people expect? Wow, well, people, I think Detroit, that's my, y'all my second hometown, so y'all know me. I'm going to go to span through my music career, but we're really going to uh, sit heavily in the new album. I'm really excited. The album is doing really well, and so we want to just sit there for a minute. And then, of course, we have our, our in the night dance party at the end of the show. So we're going to do some good stuff. We have a good time. All right. Well, you can see Mesa at the Dearborn Performing Arts Center this Friday. Tickets are still available. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Anytime.